Coming to you from Atlanta, Georgia. Your voice in a noisy marketplace. Your e-comment update with Cordelia Blake. Welcome to eComment, your source for e-commerce and Amazon sellers news by Scanner Society. Today, we want to look at the top internet retailers by earnings in the last fiscal year. Two of the top 10 are online flower e-tailers, 1-800-Flowers and FTD. QVC, HSN, and Evine Live are TV retailers. We've seen a huge push by Amazon to dominate media as they grow their original content and fan base for Prime TV. Are Amazon Shopping TV and Amazon Flowers on the horizon? Walmart keeps climbing in its push to dominate the market both online and in-store. They are partnering with Handy to provide in-home product setup services, just as IKEA acquired TaskRabbit last year. Walmart is hoping to encourage buyers by making the entire process easier. Will Amazon use its own services section to provide install to customers? Walmart's also deepening their partnership with Federal Express by bringing FedEx shops into 500 of its U.S. stores. They will offer printing and delivery services as well as short-term package storage so consumers can pick up there rather than having packages delivered at home. Walmart recently surveyed its customers and found that the services they most want that weren't already in stores were packaging and shipping. Walmart, Kroger, and Target now all have easy pickup of groceries and in-store items available in many locations, bridging the online to store gap. Target acquired Shipped last year and now just announced free two-day delivery from Target.com on hundreds of thousands of items. They are also aggressively pursuing private label, something they are already very good at, and introducing more than a dozen new exclusive brands by the end of 2018. I think that marketplaces have been watching what marketplace sellers such as Amazon and eBay sellers have been up to and are emulating us. The question is, how can we continue to pivot to provide needed customer services without directly competing with these behemoths for whom short-term profit is just not needed? Walgreens took a surprisingly nimble jump into contemporary marketing with a private label lesson for all of us team up with influencers. They recently joined with YouTube beauty enthusiast Judy Travis of It's a Judy Time and are releasing a line of cosmetic bags with her. This type of partnership is within the reach of many of us. Take your Amazon selling and product development experience and team up with an influencer. The Trump administration may impose tariffs worth as much as $60 billion on Chinese products as early as this week to punish Beijing for what they're saying is intellectual property theft from American businesses. Whether this is the true motive is up in the air. The exact size and makeup of the sanctions could still change. A trade war with China will impact the many small businesses and private labelers who cannot afford to weather short-term supply price increases. Many bipartisan trade organizations oppose tariffs. More domestic revenue is lost in jobs that use and sell those products than those that make them, and they feel that a trade war will only hurt consumers and not China or meaningfully change IP theft practices. If you import or are planning to, pay extra attention to this developing story. Even before online retailing behemoth Amazon builds its Prime Air shipping hub at the Cincinnati airport, it will begin an unprecedented collaboration with its future across-the-street neighbor DHL. It is a major strategic partnership between two of the world's largest logistics operations. Beginning in May, DHL will continue to run its America's hub at CVG at night, while Amazon uses the facility and equipment during the day. This shows how Amazon is not only diversifying logistics with their own brand, but partnering with DHL rather than putting all their eggs in the UPS basket. More competition means lower prices for merchants and consumers as the big guys battle this out. UPS diversifies and tries to serve merchants who sell cross-platform with their launch of marketplace shipping to merchants. All orders can be consolidated, viewed, and shipped from one place inside the UPS platform. The death of Toys Megagiant, Toys R Us, has shocked many consumers. Was it Amazon or its own debt that killed it? 
Speculation is rampant about Amazon buying the retailer at a discount to essentially acquire their real estate. I just wonder if a buyout is necessary for that purpose. In Amazon news, a save the date announcement went out about the second annual Boost conference hosted by Amazon. There will be an evening reception on June 19th and a day long conference on the 20th in New Orleans. Stay tuned for registration details. This is one of the few events actually hosted by Amazon and is worth attending. As more marketplaces open up and Amazon is once again trying to court the right seller, they do more outreach and education events. Attendees from last year said that there was not really any earth shattering news, but the connections and exposure were worth the trip. Amazon hosted an invitation only event on machine learning, automation, robotics, and space exploration. While we were not invited, we did enjoy this picture of Jeff Bezos walking his robot dog. As Amazon grows, it's clear that space and robotics are where Bezos sees the future headed. Amazon continues to offer sellers a discount on selling new grocery and gourmet products. As the grocery marketplace heats up, Amazon wants to reward us for bringing new brands and ideas to their marketplace. Watch out though, as our popular vendors will be snapped up by Amazon if we don't have rock solid agreements in place. Thank you for tuning in. E-comment is brought to you by Scanner Society, a trade organization for Amazon sellers. Find out more about us and how we help sellers like you here. Here are today's show notes.